please give me some oh, sorry few minutes to uh, start my laptop and into the other device mm, okay because the my laptop is very old one now mm. <laughs> Yes. Uh, the presentation. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. So there is an error in my laptop. Hmm? Mm. Therefore, shall we continue with my device? Mm, okay. My phone, na. Huh? Okay. Uh, you all are welcome to today lecture. Mm. This is our paper, Buddhist culture. In South Asia, hmm. I think you know all these things. This is uh, today' topic: faiths and beliefs in Sri Lanka in the pre-Mahinda era. Mahinda mean. Uh, I think you remember last week we discussed uh, the Dhamma missionary service. Hmm. Yes. Remember. Uh, uh, Arahat Mahamayinda Tero uh, came to Sri Lanka. So he uh, brought Buddhism to Sri Lanka. Okay? Yes. Uh, but uh, today we are going to discuss uh, before arrival of the Mahinda Tero. Okay? This means uh, before the Buddhism come to Sri Lanka. Okay? Uh, that's sorry uh, that period we have to discuss hmm? uh, because uh, there were some religions some beliefs and some faiths in sri lanka okay before the uh, um, arrival of mahamahinda tera okay uh, can you see the screen clearly yes we can see screen clearly but uh, it is small in size Small size means because this is you are sharing. Uh, now it is okay. Thank you very much. Ah, okay. okay. No, I uh, use my phone <laughs> to share the screen. Uh, maybe that's the reason. Okay. It's useful to gain an uh, understanding of the faiths and belief that uh, excited on the island before Buddhism came to the. Uh, island. Mm, mean, uh, we have to understand what's the background before the arrival of Buddhism to Sri Lanka. Information about these can be obtained uh, mainly from the detail of King uh, Pandukabe in the Mahavansa. Uh, we discussed about Mahavansa. It is a chronicle. You remember? Yes. Sri Lankan chronicle, la, oldest uh, chronicle in Sri Lanka, Mahavansa. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, in this uh, chronicle, uh, the writer or author mentioned uh, many details uh, pre Mahinda era. Uh, there was a king, King Pandukabaya. Can you spell Pandukabaya? Can you spell? <laughs> Panduka Bhaya. Panduka Bhaya. Very good. Panduka Bhaya. Uh, he was the first king in Sri Lanka. Okay. He was the first king uh, in Sri Lanka. Uh, at that time, uh, this means uh, before the arrival of Mahamahinda Tehra. Uh, therefore, uh, there were lot of details uh, we can understand with uh, his period uh, because uh, the Mahavansa author, Mahavansa writer, he uh, had 
uh, written many details about the background of Sri Lanka. Okay. Uh, background dot of Sri Lanka. Uh, the first one is devil worship. Devil worship. Have you seen devils? Not. They are on the screen. Huh? They are Sri Lankan devils. Mm -hmm. Not Indian, no Japanese devils. <laughs> huh? Okay. Uh, first one is devil worship. There is evidence from the Mahavamsa to consider Kueni, who was the woman from the Yaksha or devil tribe, as an expert in demonology. I think you have heard the word demonology related to devil. Okay. So another subject, demonology, uh, <clears throat> related to uh, devil. Actually, uh, the Kuenia, uh, Kuenia mean uh, she is a uh, woman. Okay, uh, in Sri Lanka, uh, but uh, she had a power uh, with demonology. It mean uh, she had practiced and uh, she had done uh, some things with demonology. Kim Pandukabe built uh, abodes uh, for the demons. Uh, Chittaraja, Kalavela, Chetia, and Maheja. Okay. Uh, according to Mahavansa, uh, Mahavansa Chronicle, uh, the author says uh, Kim Pandukabe had built uh, some places. Uh, maybe some religious places like a small temple uh, for the uh, demons Chittaraja and Kalavela. They are the names are Chetia and Maheja. Uh, you don't want to remember all these names. Huh? <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> are you afraid? No, no. <laughs> no, no, no examination no need to mention all this information okay uh, but uh, we have to understand this is not a diploma level mm. uh, this is a uh, degree level therefore we have to learn more and we have to write more in your examination okay okay <laughs> we have to learn more and we have to write more uh, because now we are our second year students. Okay. Uh, but uh, if you can uh, write in your answer all these names and everything, uh, it will be better to get and high marks. <laughs> to get an A pass. Okay. Uh, this explain uh, this explains that the belief in the dead was popular in Sri Lanka in uh, pre Mahinda era. Uh, therefore, we can understand there were uh, many uh, devils in Sri Lanka before the arrival of Mahinda, Mahamahinda Tero. It means before the arrival of Buddhism to Sri Lanka, there were. Uh, many beliefs with the uh, beliefs and faiths with uh, devils or oh, yaksha. The single word is yaksha. Can you spell yaksha? Yaksh. Yaksha, yes. Pali word is yakka. Yak. Yakka, yes, yakka. Uh, there, uh, there are many uh, sutras uh, mentioned about yakka. Okay, in Buddha's period also there were uh, some yakkas or devils. <laughs> okay, uh, then the tree worship. Tree worship. 
I think uh, it's uh, happened in mm -hmm. all the countries, not only Sri Lanka, but also your countries. Huh? In India, in modern situation also, there were many beliefs. Huh? Free worship. Am I correct? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Proud. <laughs> Sri Lanka. In, in, in Sri Lanka also same. Mm -hmm. I don't know about Japan. Yeah, Japan is the same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Are they worshiping to trees? Yes. I'm not mentioned about the Bodhi tree, yeah? No. It is related but... to Buddhism. The other trees. Other trees, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Which means the other old countries, the same situation. <laughs> there are many beliefs and faiths about trees. Okay. Kim Panduka Bear had allotted a banyan tree. Banyan tree for the residence of the god Vesavana. And the uh, palm tree for the residence of the god Vyad. Vyad. First one is Vesavana. Second one is Vyad. Yes. Can you spell Vesavana and Vyad? Yes. Uh, had built uh, some, uh, no, uh, planted some uh, trees for them, and uh, he purchased these areas for these goods. Okay, the tree. Then, this uh, explains that uh, there was a belief in this country that trees also have supernatural powers. Ah, uh, in Sri Lankan. Uh, people they have believed uh, there were supernatural powers uh, with the trees. Okay, like your countries. <laughs> then worship of God. Can you see this God? Yes. Unseen God, da. Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, <clears throat> did you start your other lectures for yes. other papers? Yes, yes. All the papers this, these days continue? Yes, uh, but some papers are not conducted because uh, teachers are in Sri Lanka and power problem. Uh, uh, yes, yes. So, uh, I also have this problem. Mm. Today also I had, but this time it's okay. <laughs> For one day, there are uh, uh, two and a half hour power cut. Mm -hmm. We have to face. It's a very horrible situation now in Sri Lanka. <laughs> uh, the main reason is politicians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but <laughs> we also part of that because we are the person who selected the politicians. Mm. <laughs> they, they did not come correct directly to the parliament. The people selected them. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes. Vyadi Deva is the hunter, goat, and Kammakara Deva is the industrial List goat. Ah, there were some uh, areas. Uh, the hunter, hunters, uh, they believed the goat uh, with via the dev. Okay, the name is via the dev. Uh, the hunters they uh, worship to that goat via the dev. And there is another god, uh, Kammakara. Uh, all are the names, huh? Vyadadeva and Kammakara. Both these uh, names, both are names uh, related to uh, the separate area. Uh, first one is hunter, Hunter's area. Other one is industrialization, uh, I mean... 
the work in place some other work working people they believe kamma kara go for they are uh, industrialist it means uh, they believe it means some people uh, believe uh, if we doing some work or if they are working uh, some uh, dangerous area uh, before enter the dangerous area they pray for the god okay they pray to the god uh, for their uh, safety did you get it yes okay they pray uh, for the god uh, to their protection okay they are for they are uh, is uh, another god for the industrialist uh thus uh, it is clear that each of the uh, professions had the custom of offering sacrifices to the super uh, nal uh, deity ah uh, therefore we can understand uh, the sri lankan uh, people uh, who was uh, pre mahinda era uh, believed uh, some god uh, with their duties and they are working areas and workplaces next one jainism actually uh, pre mahinda era in sri lanka there was a jainism too. this religion can be uh, called as an organized religion in india is it correct rahul yes yes jainism yes. still yes modern situation also uh, there were many jaina uh, person they yes. believe jaina mahavira is it correct yes jaina yes. mahavira jain mahavira is jaina mahavira yes okay uh, kim pandukave built monastery for the uh, niganta priest uh, jyotiya kumbhand and giri the three names jyotiya kumbhand and giri ah uh, the pandu kim panduka be uh, he had uh, built some monasteries for the uh, for this priest therefore we can understand uh, in sri lanka uh, there were uh, jainism jaina religion uh, because uh, the sri lankan uh, country this island it's very uh, near to india therefore we can understand uh, the other religions also uh, came to sri lanka okay uh, same as buddhism it's been uh, not only buddhism come to sri lanka but also the other religions also uh, came to sri lanka with the connection uh, between um, these countries sri lanka and india okay before the arrival of uh, mahinda they have a connection in sri lanka and india next one ajivaka and paribrajika religions ajivaka and paribrajaka uh, it's also uh, based in india it is mentioned in the mahavansa chronicle that uh, kim pandukabaya um, prepared and offered monastery to uh, paribrajakas ajivakas and ascetics mm, i think you have heard these words paribrajakas ajivakas and ascetics do you remember we discussed uh, this topic in diploma level yes uh early history of buddhism in india before the 3rd century bc our paper we discussed uh, who are them therefore i did not mention more details uh in this presentation and this note uh, you can uh, prepare so you can refer uh, previous notes and presentations 
to get uh, more details more information about them but uh, in this lecture uh, i want to mention you uh, these religion also were in sri lanka okay before the arrival of uh, mahamayinda thera okay next one brahmanism uh this region also based in india yes kim pandukabe is said to have built special building called sivika sala and sotti sala there is a error sivika sala uh, there should be a space uh, and sotti sala Oh. <clears throat> Sivika Sala and Sotti Sala. Okay. Uh, these are two words. Uh, Sivika Sala means uh, Sala means Pali. It's a Pali word, Sala. Uh, Sala means whole. Okay. Hmm, no one there. Can't you hear? Yes, 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 we can, we can hear. hear. Oh, okay. I was excited, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> because I did not uh, open my video. It's a battery power problem <laughs> issue. Uh, I couldn't see you. Uh, therefore, I need your voice. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yes, the others. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. <laughs> okay, Bante. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the other students are silent. <laughs> I, I can hear you. Early, earlier, earlier, also the same situation in diploma level. I am talking and talking and talking, but you are silent. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, uh, Sivika Sala and Sotti Sala, Kim Pandukabe uh, built uh, these uh, holes. It is uh, speculated that uh, these were used to conduct the Yag Homa. The word is Yag Homa sacrifice of the Brahmin. I think you remember we discussed about uh, sacrifice, uh, mm -hmm. about um, the Brahmins. Uh, <clears throat> they uh, are doing some duty or some uh, sacrifice for the god, to the god. Uh, <clears throat> therefore, uh, King Pandukabaya, uh, he had uh, built. Uh, some holes to doing this work as a king. Therefore, we can understand uh, King Pandukabe, uh, he uh, has treated to all the religious mm -hmm. person. Okay? Not only Buddhism, but mm -hmm. also uh, other. other religions also. also. Okay. okay. Uh, Dainism and Brahmanism, uh, Brahmans, all, all the religious uh, were in Sri Lanka and King Pandukabe, he had uh, treated to all the religions. Mm. Then, uh, apart from this, uh, various natural objects such as sun, moon, stars, fire, and wind uh, existed in pre mahinda era yeah. actually uh, maybe in other countries also same i don't know is it correct or not uh, but in sri lanka uh, still uh, in modern world also uh, some person uh, uh, has some beliefs 
with these objects mm. i don't know in other countries maybe india also same ma huh? yes modern yes. situation also they believe they worship uh, uh, as an example uh, in yoga philosophy there is a surya namaskar worship to the sun yes before start the yoga meditation or uh, yoga exercise uh, they should worship to the sun am i correct rahul yes bante yes uh, they worship the, to the sun it's also the same situation <laughs> mm. okay uh, they uh, believe uh, they are uh, ras uh, supernatural powers with those objects actually we can understand uh, these objects they, they have uh, supernatural powers okay mm. but uh, it's a natural power Mm. okay not a, a personified power okay there is no any person but uh, objectively they have yeah. some powers yes the sun uh, suppose uh, if they are uh, not in the sun in this planet <laughs> we can do anything huh? yes Uh, we want to the sun's power okay without sun's power uh, we don't we cannot do anything yes but it's not a person mm. it's a power object okay it's an object it has a power we have to understand but uh, uh, the people they worship to this object they think they are is a person uh, they are for uh, in this object uh, they spread a power mm. in pre mahinda era before arrival of uh, mahinda tero uh, they have a, mm, uh, some beliefs with uh, sun moon stars fire and winds then buddhism it mean before the arrival of mahinda tera uh, there were some uh, evidence uh, which there was buddhism in sri lanka okay i mm. okay. mean actually uh, there were buddhism in sri lanka before the arrival of maha mahinda tera mm. but it was not uh there is not a uh, establishment of buddhism mm. okay uh, not established buddhism in sri lanka before the arrival of mahind mahamahinda tero after the arrival of mahamahinda tero the buddhism were established in sri lanka mm. did you get the point yes, yes. but there were many evidence before mm. the uh, mahamahinda there uh, there were buddhism first one is buddha visited sri lanka three times mm. uh, the buddha uh, had visited sri lanka three times mahavansar chronicle mention and there are some other chronicles also samanta pasadika and other some uh, evidence also the literature evidence uh, mention uh, uh, buddha visited sri lanka three times okay then tapasuballuka traders obtain hair relics during the buddha's lifetime stored them in tiriyaya chetiya it is a pagoda near trinkomali in sri lanka uh, uh, trinkomali uh, uh, eastern side okay eastern side there is a, a pagoda Uh, there is a uh, uh, believe uh, the traders uh, tapasu and balluka both traders uh, obtain hair relic uh, from the buddha and they came to sri lanka for their trading okay they are traders they came to business 
Sri Lanka and they uh, stored uh, the relic uh, in this pagoda uh, near Shrinko Mali area. Okay. Then the people including uh, Baddha Kachayana who came to Sri Lanka are considered to be uh, Buddhist. Uh, Kim Pandukabaya brought a wife from India. Okay. Which means they have no any uh, special wife for him in Sri Lanka. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, he brought uh, brought mean he import a wife from India. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, the Baddha Kacha is a, uh, he, she is a wife of King Pandukabe, but she also Buddhist. Mm -hmm. Okay, Baddha Kacha and uh, some group of uh, women uh, arrived to Sri Lanka after the arrival of. Uh, Vijay, ah, sorry, not Pandukabaya's uh, wife, King Vijay's wife. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, they are uh, before the Pandukabaya, they are a king, but uh, uh, he is not a uh, Sri Lankan king, he was an Indian person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, king Vijay. He also arrived uh, from India um, and he brought a wife. Mm. Okay. Her name is Baddha Kachayana. He import, uh, imported a wife uh, and uh, her is, uh, she is a uh, Buddhist lady. Okay. Uh, therefore, uh, Mahavansa Chronicle uh, mentioned this. Uh, uh, point and we can understand uh, the Buddhism were in Sri Lanka before the arrival of Mahamahind. Uh, it is uh, also possible that the uh, people of this country may have gained some understanding of Buddhism from the trade group that came to this country. Uh, uh, we can understand they have a, a, a good connection with traders, Sri Lanka and India. Mm. Okay. They have uh, changed uh, something, uh, uh, Sri Lankan uh, items and Indian items. They have uh, changed and uh, they did their business with each other. Therefore, we can understand, uh, it means if some uh, group of traders come to Sri Lanka, uh, they are not going uh, back uh, with one day or two days. Maybe at least they are uh, stay. Sorry, uh, they were here uh, maybe one week or one month. Okay, uh, they bring uh, their items and they uh, should they are sorry they should sell their all items. After uh, selling, they have to go there country. Therefore, they should stay one week or maybe one month, maybe more than one or two months in Sri Lanka. At that time, they have some free time uh, with discuss each other in Sri Lankan people and uh, Indian traders. Uh, at that time, maybe they were discussing about Buddhism. Did you get the point? Yes. 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 Some group of traders came to Sri Lanka and they discussed about Buddhism with Sri Lankan traders and other peoples. Maybe. Therefore, uh, this point mentioned uh, the Sri Lankan uh, people knew about Buddhism uh, at that era. I mean, before the uh, Maha arrival of Mahamahinda, I mean, before the uh, Buddhism come to Sri Lanka. Okay. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, we have to understand uh, in this topic, hmm, before the arrival of uh, Maha Mahinda, in pre-Mahinda era, there were 
Buddhism in Sri Lanka. Sorry, not only Buddhism, but some uh, other religions also in Sri Lanka. Okay. Uh, this is the summary. And you have the note. And you can refer my note. And I will uh, send this uh, presentation. Did I send my previous presentation? No. <laughs> Uh, okay, I will uh, send it uh, through the WhatsApp to Rahul. Please share it. Uh. Actually, I couldn't remember. Uh, and today's ones also I will send both presentation. Uh, don't worry, I will give you a sample questions uh, near future. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we'll uh, write some answers uh, uh, for um, these uh, questions. And uh, I did not prepare any sample question still. Okay, after finish uh, first uh, and second lecture, I will uh, send some sample questions. Okay, are there any questions? Mm, no question. Is no. it clear? Yes. Okay, okay. I'm very happy. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> if it, it is clear for you, I'm very happy. Yeah? But don't worry, if there is any question, please ask me. Huh? Yes, sure. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, I think now we can stop yes. for today. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, thank you very much for participating today's lecture. And we will meet again next week. Okay. okay may the Theologian bless you for all. Sadhu, 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 sadhu. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you very much, Pante.